Welcome back to another spiritual block with the courageous sage. Yeah. Today, I'd like to talk to you all about self mastery and what it takes for you too to master yourself. The self being the I am consciousness, the expression of a high Asher, a high. I am that I am. Being is being. Being present within myself, knowing that I am me, you know? I don't have to work to be anybody besides myself. Self-mastery comes in the aspects of health, in the aspects of creativity, in the aspects of intuition, in the aspects of wisdom and understanding, in the aspects of mercy and judgment, in the aspects of severity, you know, and the aspects of victory and splendor. These are aspects of the tree of life, and those are aspects of ourselves where we are the tree of life. When we can master ourselves, we can master the cosmos in that way, realizing that we surrender to ourselves, to our truest selves, realizing we surrender to the cosmos in that sense. That the more we release the illusions, the ego, the desires that we have built up around us and just allow the cosmos and the true love that's within us to speak through us into this experience, that's when we fully embrace that state of mastery. Mastery in meditation, mastery in baking, or mastery in fishing, mastering any aspects of life is just one facet closer to mastering yourself. When you can master yourself, you love yourself. That is true. You love every aspect of yourself. When you can master yourself, you can eat anything and be happy and healthy because you know how to control the aspects of digestion and transformation in your body. You become a master of transformation. You transmute the energy that you receive from this world. You turn it from darkness into light. You manifest light through you as a master. We are all capable of mastering our lives. It just takes the drive, the willpower, the emotional pull, the chi, the connection to the heart, and the opening up of truth into your life, and the opening up of light within your imagination. And when you have those, intuition, is your guy and you'll know how to master yourself but starting to master the present being being knowing that you are in this moment everything that you've ever experienced has led up to this moment right now and you can be yourself here in this moment and that's what's most important is that you're here present now and you know the future is ever flowing and you know the past is that fire that burns the drive and enthusiasm towards your future and you know the wind is the breeze blowing, the unknown breezing by, and we're opening our hearts, our windows, to allow the breeze through into our experience. Well, I pray, you know, that you all can experience the true rays of self-mastery. Orderliness, calmness, all in between. That's self-mastery right there. <laughs>